Well, now to a criminal case of lost and found. Thieves target an 80 year old man delivering newspapers this morning, and then he sees the same guys drive by his home hours later. KTV News Watch Evans, Nicole Goodrich is live. As you can see, Lucian Reed has his van back tonight. He got it back about 12 hours after the crime. He does say the suspects took everything inside, though, even the newspapers he never got to deliver. Lucian Reed's van is back where it belongs, in his driveway. But just about 12 hours earlier, two men took it from him at gunpoint. This guy walked up and he put one hand on my shoulder and put the pistol right here. Just before 3 Wednesday morning, Reed was delivering newspapers near 40th and Spaulding. He says he's done that job in the neighborhood for 15 years. I saw some strange things that happened to me. But this time, Reed says after dropping a paper at a neighbor's door, he bumped into a man on the way to his car. He says that man put a gun to his chest and then made off with the van. Lucian Reed is a good guy. He don't deserve what happened to him. And this is where the story gets strange. Reed's stepson, Tyrico Wilson, says he was playing basketball outside their house just a few blocks away from the crime scene when he noticed two men driving by in Reed's van. The way it came about, I think it was the grace of God, you know what I mean? Wilson says he stepped in front of the van, planning to get it back. I pulled them over and asked about the van, so they gave me the keys willingly with no problems. By the time police arrived, Reed says the two men were gone, but he has a message for them. I want to tell them, if they better stop doing what they're doing and go back to school. I'll try to get an education so they can get them a job. Reed says he plans to continue delivering papers in the neighborhood, and police are still looking for suspects. If you know anything, call Crime Stoppers at 402 444 STOP. Reporting live, Nicole Goodrich, KETV News Watch 7.